In the periphery of Great Himalayan National Park in Himachal Pradesh, the twin valleys of Tirthan and Banjar are slowly overtaking Manali Kasol belt in terms of popularity among youngsters. JP is one such lesser known treasure in Banjar Valley. So if you want to run away from the madding city crowd looking for seclusion in the hills, then JP is the ideal destination for you. Once you reach Delhi or Chandigarh, from there you will have plenty of Volvo bus options to Manali. The Himachal Tourism Volvo bus service is reliable and comfortable compared to private operators and it's quite safe for solo travelers but a bit expensive compared to private bus service. If you're looking for other bus services, you should check their online presence and review so that you don't end up with any fraudsters. So if you're traveling from Chandigarh to Odd, the distance is 230 kilometers and it'll take around 7 hours. And if you're traveling from Delhi, the distance is 470 kilometers and it'll take around 12 hours. Once you get down at Odd, from Odd you'll have to catch a bus to Banjar. Banjar is 25 kilometers from Odd. From Banjar, you can get bus for Jibbi, but the frequency is very less. So it's better if you hire a taxi, it will cost you some 300 rupees and the distance from Banjar to Jibbi is 19 kilometers. There are a lot of places to explore in and around Jibbi, but here are 7 must visit places you should know when you make your plan for Jibbi. Chaini Kote is a watchtower or garrison for neighboring Chaini village, which has been built in an ancient Himalayan style architecture. Chaini village is 7 km from Jibbi and the major part of the stretch is drivable. Once you reach the village, you can start your 1.5 km trek to Chaini Tar. An hour long hike through the forest will take you to Miyagi, then a small descent will take you to your destination. A 10 minute walk from Jibbi Market will lead you to the trail of Jibbi Waterfall. You'll have to walk about 5 to 10 minutes to reach near the falls. The place is neatly done with small bridges over the stream which is flowing down from the waterfalls. Surrounding the falls is dense forest in all directions. Overall vibe of that place is very soothing. Shoja, a serene hamlet located in Siraj Valley. It is at a distance of 7 km from JP, so you can easily reach there by public transport or hire a taxi. The village of Shoja is still hidden in most part, which makes it all more interesting to discover. Mountain slopes covered with lush green vegetation, conifers and deodars, which are spread across the entire range along with a spectacular view of snow-capped peak is truly a magical splendor to be witnessed. At a distance of 10 km from JP, there is the Serene Balo Temple. You can reach closer to the temple if you are travelling by a two-wheeler or a small car will also do. You can reach there by public transport as well, but you need to hike for some 3 to 4 km one side from the stop. A trek of 2.5 km from Bahu village will get you to Balo Temple. Surrounded by thick forest with few or no people around, it is one of the blissful places I have ever been to. The area of Jaluri Pass is quite simply put a natural paradise. It's a high mountain pass at an elevation of 10,282 feet above sea level. Jaluri Pass is 12 km from Jibbi and you can reach there via bus but the frequency is very less. Note down the bus timing carefully and have a cab driver's number just in case if you miss the last bus. At the top of Jalori Pass, there are some restaurants and a Mahakali temple also known as Jalori Mata. Jalori Pass doesn't even have a Wikipedia page, so you can guess how offbeat this destination really is. 
Once you reach Jalori Pass, you'll have two places to visit, Serolsar Lake and Raghupur Fort. Serolsar is a beautiful lake situated in the middle of dense forest around Jalori Pass. The lake is located at an altitude of 10,171 feet. An easy trek of 1.5 hours from Jalori Pass will take you to Serolsar Lake. So it can be planned in a day. Raghupur Fort is a historic place which is believed to be built by Mandi rulers to protect themselves from the invasion. The trek to Raghupur Fort is a 3 km climb from Jalori Pass through the beautiful oak forest with great Himalayas in the backdrop. It takes around 2 hours to reach to the top and the path gets steeper during the last kilometers. In Jibbe, you'll find plenty of stay options. There are hostels and homestays as well. I stayed in Mud House. Bunk beds there cost around 500 rupees per night. Good food, comfortable stay, friendly host, and the best part is the constant blissful sound of the stream that passes by the house. Everything about this hostel is lovely. I mentioned their Instagram handle in the description below. Guys, it's difficult to find dustbin when you travel to such offbeat places, so make sure you carry something to take care of your garbage. Also, carry a bottle and refill it wherever possible. It will save a lot of your money and most importantly, that is the least you can contribute to help the nature. Best time to visit is from the month of March to May as the climate remains pleasant. But every season has different experiences so it entirely depends on what you're looking for. If you need any help for planning your trip, feel free to drop a message on my Instagram. I've shared the link below. See ya!